the latest on what is now Hurricane Milton. It just was upgraded to a hurricane as of the two o'clock advisory. So this is the newest information that we see. Its movement is now towards the east at six miles per hour, but wind speeds have picked up to 80 miles per hour and the pressure has lowered. The lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. So the hurricane hunters just flew in. We had the NOAA hurricane hunters earlier today and we have an Air Force mission that is now ongoing and we've seen that pressure dial back to 986 millibars. So that's one of the reasons why we've seen this now strengthen to a category one hurricane and we still have room for Milton to continue to grow. Now the spaghetti model plots do indicate that it likely will be making landfall across Florida's western coast anywhere from central Florida through southern Florida. So we still have more time for these models to start to come together, but we are seeing much more improvement in its agreeability since yesterday. Now over the next 24 hours, we mentioned that Milton has the chance to grow, likely going to strengthen to a category three, making this a major hurricane as we get into Monday afternoon, most likely, and then maintaining its category three strength, strengthening to wind speeds of 120, maybe even 125 miles per hour, just before landfall. Now, the cone of uncertainty is still on before it does make landfall, but what we know are we're going to see widespread impacts all across the Sunshine State, including heavy rain, strong Category 3 force winds, increased storm surge across the coastlines. And then, of course, we do have the impacts of severe weather, which could include tornadic impacts as well. Now, the GFS and the European model are starting to agree more and more as time goes on, and we will see much more consistency with those agreements as well. So here's a look at the impacts, flooding, strong winds, tornadoes, rough surf, and it all depends on where this cone of uncertainty is going to make landfall. Heavy rain. We can see pockets of precipitation up to maybe even 12 inches, and even the chance for some rain wrapped tornadoes. So now is the time to get prepared because Milton is certainly on its way. This West 2 first.